Order this duly authorized telephone meeting of the Nevada State Athletic Commission held this Tuesday, January 8, 2013, at 9 a.m. Uh, Keith, could you call the roll? Certainly. Commissioner Lundell? Here. Commissioner Avancino? Here. Commissioner Aguilar? Here. Commissioner Day? Here. And Chair Brady? Here. Thank you, Keith. Uh, for those who may be on the phone, or anyone that's here you feel that you might not be heard at a later time uh, I may not part of the agenda this is time for public comment so if there's something that you want to say this is the time to come forward and uh, say it hearing none huh? is there is there someone who want um, hello and uh, first of all this is video um, I'd like to apologize for not being able to attend no, the no, no. no Mr. Bear we'll you're on the agenda we sorry for confusing you we'll be coming to you oh. we'll probably get to you and uh that's probably in about 45 minutes might be that 30 to 40 minutes 30 to 45 minutes sorry to confuse you since there is no one either on the phone or present that would like to make public comment i do know that we have a number of uh, licensees um, and would encourage any of those licensees um, uh, to participate in the brain study that is being conducted by the the Rubo, um, uh, uh, brain institute December 20th meeting. You've had a chance to review them. Are there any changes or questions about the minutes? Hearing none, do I have a motion for approval? For approval. Second. We have a motion by Mr. Avancino and uh, seconded by Commissioner Aguilar. All in favor say aye. 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 Yes. Uh, move on to item number 19. Request by mixed martial artist Ulster Overeem for a license. Uh, Mr. O. Overeem is coming forward. Good to see you. Good to see you. You now live in Florida? I do. My name is New York. Okay. That's good. Kind of different temperature there than where you live, isn't it? A lot warmer. A lot more comfortable and uh, warmer than here, by the way. Yeah. Are there bugs there? <laughs> okay. Good. Keith? Yes, you should have uh, before you his application, his fight record. Um, this wasn't a comprehensive fighter, but I can tell you all the medicals are in and are in uh, sufficient or sufficient to uh, grant life insurance if you're so inclined. Uh, as you recall, you denied him a license back in, I believe, in April of last year. It's been a little over nine months now. He's before you today. My understanding is they plan to have, they being the UFC plan to have him fight on the February 2nd card uh, with your against Mr. Silva with your approval. That'd be about 10 and a half months since the uh, since the failed drug test. Thank you, Keith. Mr. Obrain, you wish to make a comment at this time? Well, okay, I'm going to go before you. Feel you have learned something, be able to look inside, and that's over the last nine. Good. We all do that in life. All the time. May I just ask a few questions and then others? Um, it looks like you've been uh, drug tested regularly. Um, in fact, Keith, do you want to go just into our dates of our tests? Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, I, I know he had uh, sent in some tests about I think five total between uh, June and November. Um, I also had him with uh, with the chairman's uh, consent had him drug tested on November 16th and December 21st, and those have come back uh, completely negative. Right, and he had tested himself on the 14th of November. We, yes, yes, yeah, of November, 
you were on the 14th, we came back on the 16th, and then we came back a little over one month later after that. You, Mr. Guys, you got the last of the uh, that test in this morning. Didn't yeah, we, we had the blood test results last week, and we got the urine test in. Yeah. And how did they check out? Great. Commissioners? Good morning, Mr. Rover. What is uh, what have you been doing for the last nine months then, other than training? Well, um, I moved officially to Miami. Um, got the notice runs, networked a little bit. Uh, I spent a lot of time in the gym, trained a lot. As you can see, I'm still uh, still big Allison, 265, actually getting some weight. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I just I just invested in getting to the next level. 2012 was not a lost year. It was a layer of learning from uh, from the mistakes and preparing for a good, better 2013. You just changed your nutrition program or your regimen to get your elevated testosterone levels to the normal levels? Well, my manager basically took care of everything. Uh, they also arranged the, the, the drug tests and they have arranged a new nutritionist. So I have a better medical staff uh, now situated in, uh, in the States and they take excellent care of it. Well, I'm, I'm proud to see you back in the bed. I know it's been a difficult time for you as well. I have no other questions. Thank you, Commissioner Mr. Aguilar. I have no questions other than thank you for coming. Mr. Lemo. What was that? Thank you for coming back to me that. Mr. Overing, my question to you may sound a little bit odd, but I think that as you indicated that you've learned something through this process, the question I have to you is, is there something that the commission can learn through this process particularly with the random testing that we currently employ. From an athlete's perspective, do you think that there's something that we can do better or to improve upon the random testing, like the notification process, or where you've got to go to drop a sample, um, anything of that nature um, uh, that you can advise us upon? Well, I think that you, uh, that the commission is learning about some mistakes. Um, I remember over a year ago when I was contacted for the first time to do a test, I was in, in Holland. Um, I was on over phone back then. But the, the, the structure was not in place to do the testing. So I think, I think it's a process you learn by mistakes. I mean. And the follow on then random testing that we've had you um, engage in then, um, uh, does it appear that we have corrected then what you perceive as any mistakes? And, um, uh, concerning the notification, for example, that you received when you were in the Netherlands. Um, could you repeat that, please? I'm interested in learning whether or not that you think that from our perspective that we too have um, uh, improved our process, uh, particularly of notification for when you need to go in and to leave a sample. Well, I think, I think in this, internationally there are still some gaps because um, I myself requested because I didn't want to, want to make the same mistake because of course it looks bad if you're uh, if it's not there yeah, it's unable to do it where I am. So I requested you to say, okay, what am I going to do when I have a training camp? Let's say, for example, in Thailand or Japan, because those were countries that I previously was uh, a lot. And um, yeah, I still do not have an answer to that question. And I know that, for example, if I were to be there to have my training camp, I cannot get drug tested because. The facilities to do the drug tests are they are there, they're present, but it's hard to, as a civilian, because UFC is not ever recognized as a sport or as an Olympic sport, you can't just walk in a facility and I yourself test them. So in that sense, uh, a structure for worldwide, and especially now that the sport is becoming more popular, would be uh, um, so in other words, that what you're suggesting is, is that if an athlete is going to be training in an international setting, that maybe the athlete can let us know when they're going to be in the international setting so that we can predetermine then what type of notice then is required to the medical facility such that you can allow yourself then to go in and be tested. Is that one suggestion that you're offering? Mm. That would require an extra responsibility for the fighter. The fighters are not really, uh, in, my, in, in my experience, the most responsible uh, individuals. Otherwise, they would have good 
So, let, let me just put it here saying, now that I live in the States, it's just very easy to get things done because, uh, yeah, there's, everything is here. And in Holland, there's, 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 there's the facilities for, for being an athlete, a UFC athlete, it's just uh, not the same. I think the UFC and the Commission have been working also on the same problem of uh, testing internationally, which has been a challenge for all of us. But at least there's confusion here. I agree with you. Our first testing that we were trying to do with you when you were actually started in the United States and then you were on your way back uh, to Amsterdam, you were not caught in any way doing anything there. Um, it was a testing that was difficult for us to get it done right overseas. So we learned from that uh, and how to do that. We have a system set up, Mr. Kaiser worked in that, where we can test anybody in the world now. We have our system set up, so we've improved. But there was no penalty for you at that time, other than maybe a little inconvenience. What, what you were penalized for was the next random test, which you were guilty of, which the uh, penalty imposed upon you was just. You agree with that? Okay, so it was just, and uh, so you've been out nine months. Because of that infraction, uh, it would have been out by the time you fight again, almost a year. Uh, so the discipline turns out to be about 10 to 12 months, and I can't remember exactly, plus you probably lost millions of dollars during that, that time. Now, I just wanted to get those two things separate. So yes, we did learn from that, and we're a better commission because of it. But, uh, but you were also guilty of infraction also. And second, thirdly, we're glad you're here today. Uh, Happy to be here. And uh, glad to have you before us. Uh, look forward to you getting back on your career and doing that which you love. Uh, Commissioner Lundvall? I move for approval, Mr. Chairman. Okay, we have a motion for approval for a yeah. license. Second. And second by Commissioner Adel Aguilar. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Congratulations. <coughs> Welcome back to Nevada. And uh, we look forward to it. Yeah, we really look forward to it. Look forward. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so today I went for my license. Um, I'm very happy to inform you guys that I got licensed to fight for every second at the UFC against uh, Bigfoot Silva. So, um, yeah, for me it's now uh, back to work, back to hitting the gym. I'm already basically in shape. So it's a couple more weeks of grinding it, and then it's going to be showtime again. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Alex.